this tutorial I want to give you a quick session on organization of your files. It's very easy when you get a customer to have files, to have a lot of files on your computer and they become totally unorganized. You've got pictures everywhere, you've got web elements everywhere. So I'm going to show you a little structure here for uh, all, the, all of your clients all of your folders should be basically assigned the same way so it'll be easy for you to look for things in the future. So here I have a folder and it has six different folders within it and within those folders it has individual folders as well. We'll start with assets. Assets is basically your web elements, uh, all the assets, all the things that are going into your website. So if we click onto assets, we have another four folders here. One of them is called background. So in here, I would put all the backgrounds for the websites, uh, icons, I'd put all the icons stock that would be where all the imagery goes. Now, don't get confused when I say stock that I mean stock photos that I would buy online stock basically would mean in my world uh, any imagery that is given to me by the clients any big size photos that are given to me by the clients and within stock as well I haven't actually done it here but within stock I would put another folder as well called resized in fact I'm going to do that right now uh, the reason why I would do this is because some images that your client would give you would be, you know, thousands of pixels wide and thousands of pixels high and you need to convert that for the web. So you would need to, I would either call it resized or optimized. Uh, the other folder we have here is web elements and those are basically the slices really that I would use. Uh, Oops, sorry, those would be the slices that I would use uh, from my uh, cut up PSD or, or, or fireworks document. So if we have a look at backups, backups again is self-explanatory. We'll have two folders in here, one for databases and one for files. It may be a good thing as well to date these. So then when you go into database, you might have March 2013. That way you don't get your, your files mixed up with your databases. Documents would be where my contracts would go uh, from the client. Uh, content, so any written content that they've given me, they would go in here. Any Word documents or PDFs, they would go in here. Color codes would be the color codes that I would have used for the site. They would have gone in here. It'd be very handy to keep those in a safe place. Once you need to go back and refer to it, you don't have to open up the 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 PSD or the or the the, the fireworks document to try to figure out what the color codes again. So, color codes is a good one to have. And notes notes are really for my benefit. They're specific to my benefit. Uh, you know, whether it's certain plugins that I've used or uh, a set of script that I may have used on the website that I might need to be uh, that I might need to remember that will go here. Uh, fonts again, self-explanatory. That would be where all the custom fonts would go. Logos here I've got the original and web format. So the original I'd expect logos to be given to me as a PSD or an AI file. Uh, sometimes they get given to me as a uh, Sorry, I usually accept them as a PDF or an AI. Sometimes they get given to me as a PSD, which is also good. So those documents would go in the original folder. And once I've converted it and optimized it for the web, they will go in the web format folder. UI, that would be my original documents that I've... So for instance, say if I've made a mock-up for a website, uh, the original mock-up, the original Photoshop or Fireworks document would go in one of these folders. And that's basically it, really. It's just a way of organizing your stuff so you don't have to be looking every and everywhere for a particular file. And it just makes it easier for when you have to zip up. Say you have to zip up this whole folder and you send it to your client. They would know exactly where everything is. So it just makes it much easier uh, for, for you to be organized, for your client to be organized. And, you know, if they decide to take on another web designer, they would or developer, they would be able to see exactly what goes where.